Today, I'm printing a wet compass, so stick around. Hey 73 Sim Crew, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you're a pilot, you're a flight simulator pilot or enthusiast, or you're just an aviation enthusiast, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can get updates on all future videos. So today uh, I'm going to be doing some 3D printing on the wet compass, some files that got off Thingiverse. Let's go take a look. Okay, as you can see, this is a print in progress. This is the uh, main outer housing that you see. Um, the uh, back side here is the front that faces the pilot. Um, there's going to be a face plate that goes in front of that once that's printed. Inside here is where the dial goes uh, that shows you uh, the uh, north, south, east, and west. And uh, there is a, uh, a, a body housing that goes on the back of this as well. And um, if you decide that you want to make this an, a, a functional uh, unit, then uh, that's where you put a stepper motor in. So, uh, I'm going to start with that piece there, and uh, when we get the other pieces, we'll uh, take a look. This is the finished body, and of course this is the front of the wet compass. That's the center line that tells you uh, when the dial is spinning, what degree you're on, what direction you're going. So, that's the front, that's finished, that came out very nice. Um, and then this is the face plate. And uh, so there is uh, four screws. This just basically will go in like that. And then there's four screws here, um, or four holes there. I think there might be one more plate that goes over that, but I can't remember. Um, I do know that there is the one that comes off of the top here on these two holes, and that will come out a little bit like this, and that has the toggle switch in it that turns on the LED lights uh, to light up the dial. <clears throat> the actual um, dial itself that's going to be uh, in here, that will get printed in white. And uh, the reason why is because there's going to be um, LEDs on the inside. And uh, that's going to shine through the white and uh, show you uh, the actual um, printed out uh, degrees. So, um, as of now, I've just started printing the uh, body. And the body, as you can see, there's a little ring right there. The body uh, goes around in this area here and comes out. And uh, we'll get some video of that next. So this is the main cylinder that will go behind the body. Okay, we're getting there. So there is the cylinder that goes on the back of the body, just like that. So that's going to go in there like that. All the parts have been printed. I've taken the liberty to glue the um, stepper motor piece here to the ring. You can see I printed that in white, and then there's uh, this little ring piece here. And um, typically, I guess what you would do if you're going to do a stepper motor is the stepper motor would go here and it would go into the shaft of this piece and that would allow this to rotate. So um, that's done and um, I went ahead and also glued on this front piece here to this piece, which um, this will go on the top like so. And uh, then this faceplate here goes on the front like that. And then there's the uh, hanger there that has that little space where you can rotate that. This piece here will fit into the cavity of the body here like that. And then this will fit on like that. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Bondo and stuff on these and uh, to fill in these print lines and then uh, sand it and then I'm going to paint it. Okay, the dummy wet compass is in. 
I went ahead and painted it and uh, assembled it. It's really easy to put together, just a few screws. And uh, printed out the decals and put in a switch. So um, that's just for looks. Um, it's not functional. It does not have a stepper motor uh, in it. And I'm not going to hook it up to the simulator. Um, if you want to go through that process, uh, feel free. Um, I just didn't want to do it at this time. But I will put a link to the description for the Thingiverse file for this particular compass down in the description. Hey 73 Sim Crew, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you like the build of the wet compass over there, then please consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that notification bell so you get uh, updates on all future videos. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'm Matt Riggins. Blue skies.